Tesla is killing it in China. George Hotz doesn't buy a Tesla. And Tesla releases videos from its Drive to Believe event. Here are your Tesla tidbits for March 7th, 2017. Teslarati reports that in its latest regulatory filing, Tesla has tripled its sales in China year over year to $1 billion. For those claiming that Tesla would have a hard time cracking the Chinese market, this seems to be at odds with the prognosticators. While Chinese manufacturers BYD, Geely, and BAIC still hold more market share than Tesla, a billion in revenue is nothing to scoff at. And of course, Model 3 launch will bolster the market share further still, as it is accomplishing the billion in revenue in the high end market. A more affordable vehicle should really ratchet up the revenue. Electrek has an interesting story regarding noted hacker and founder of Comma.ai, George Geohot Hotz. Mr. Hotz wanted to buy a Model S60 equipped with Autopilot 2.0 from inventory last week and placed his deposit. He was scheduled to pick the car up last Thursday, but Tesla delayed the delivery until Tesla Legal spoke to him first. Allegedly, the call was a reminder that intellectual property theft was illegal. He told Electrek that he felt the call from Tesla Legal was a, quote, thinly veiled threat, end quote, and he was, quote, concerned about being singled out like that by a company that has SSH, or Secure Shell, access to all the cars, end quote. Hotz decided to cancel his order following the exchange. Hotz believes that the plans that his company had for the car would not have run afoul of the law, planning to make the Comet.ai Open Pilot software compatible with Tesla's 2.0 Autopilot hardware. This doesn't really pass the smell test for me, as if there was no apparent issue in his mind, then why didn't he just go through with the purchase? It's a shame, really, as the development could have produced something rather interesting on a couple levels. With Tesla nowhere near operational parity, let alone feature parity, with its own Autopilot 1 hardware, Comet.ai could potentially one-up Tesla's software on its own car were they able to achieve compatibility. The other intriguing bit is that Comma.ai could undercut Tesla's price for Autopilot, possibly allowing users to take advantage of all the hardware on the car without actually paying for the option. Whether the car's software allows access to the hardware when the feature isn't unlocked remains to be seen, but almost certainly something Comma.ai was looking to find out. Even if this was a possibility, I can't fathom Tesla leaving this loophole open for Comma.ai to exploit. It certainly wouldn't be a prudent business plan to operate from. Finally, a note from Inside EVs regarding Tesla's Drive to Believe event. For those unaware, Tesla gave a lucky group of folks in Europe the opportunity to swap out their daily driver for a Model S for a week some time back, and now has released the promo videos based on the event. There were 40 winners, but only two videos so far, so there could be more to come. They're very similar to the rest of the Tesla customer stories, so have a look and enjoy. Check out the links to today's full stories in the show description. Thanks to Tesla Rati and Electrek for being superlative sources of Tesla news. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. As always, thanks to super patrons John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, Cookie UK, and John Waller for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. If you're on a tight budget, I totally understand, and I always welcome your positive iTunes reviews, subscriptions across all services, and any other social media support you can throw my way. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's all for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.